sports and health. Unit 31. I feel awful. Mom, I feel awful. I think I'd better stay home from school today. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. What's the problem? I have a stomach ache, my head hurts, and I have a sore throat. Well, we'd better take your temperature and make sure you don't have a fever. Keep this thermometer under your tongue for a minute or two. Remind me to call your teacher and tell her you're sick later on today. All right, let's check. Oh dear, you've got a fever. Your temperature is 103, so I think we need to give Dr. Thompson a call. I don't understand how my head can be so hot when my body feels so cold. That's called the chills, and they often come along with fever. You've certainly got a fever. But what about my stomachache and my sore throat? Well, that's another reason we need to go see Dr. Thompson, because when you have a stomachache, fever chills, and a sore throat, it usually means that you have something more serious than a common cold. I think you've probably got the flu. I hope it's not too serious, because we've got a basketball game Thursday, and the coach told me that I'll probably start. If you want to recover from the flu in time for your game, you'd better get plenty of rest, take the medicine the doctor gives you, and drink plenty of water. I promise I will, Mom. But let's go and see Dr. Thompson now. Unit 32. Why do we sneeze? A sneeze is a very interesting thing. We use many different muscles when we sneeze. These include stomach muscles, throat muscles, and eye muscles. Remember, our eyes always close during a sneeze. A sneeze begins when something gets inside your nose like a tiny particle of dust. Your nose sends a message to your brain. Your brain sends messages to the muscles getting them to work together in the correct order. When you sneeze, the dust that was in your nose flies out as fast as 100 miles an hour. Usually something like dust or cold air makes us sneeze, but some people sneeze whenever they look at the sun. Some people think that your heart stops when you sneeze. Actually, it really doesn't, but sometimes it might feel like it does. After someone sneezes, people often say, bless you, or God bless you. To bless someone means to wish them good and special things. Why do people say this? Long ago, people believed that this saying kept bad things from flying down your throat. Another story is that people thought this saying would help keep the person who sneezed from getting a very serious disease called the plague. At that time, the plague was killing thousands of people. It was thought that saying, God bless you, would protect people from getting this awful disease. Today, the saying is simply a nice way to wish someone well. Unit 33, Skiing and Snowboarding my name is Michael Bryce, and I love to ski and snowboard. I am 16 years old, and I have been skiing since I was 5 and snowboarding since I was 8. Both my parents like skiing, and my older brother likes snowboarding. In my opinion, snowboarding is more fun and exciting than skiing. When I ski, it feels really easy to control where I go and how I move. The ski poles make it very simple to change my direction. There are no poles in snowboarding, however, so when you snowboard, you have to understand the snow very well to make sure you don't fall. The feeling I get while I'm snowboarding is more exciting than when I'm skiing because I like having less control. I enjoy the challenge. I never know what's going to happen. This makes it more exciting. 
Some people think that the reduced amount of control in snowboarding makes the sport more dangerous. But in my opinion, snowboarding is actually safer than skiing because when you ski, you are standing on two skis. If you fall while on skis, it is very easy to break your bones by getting your skis stuck in the snow. On a snowboard, your legs stay together even when you fall. While I still love to ski, I like snowboarding much better. It is more fun and exciting, and maybe even safer than skiing. Unit 34. A nice cup of tea. Could I offer you a cup of tea? Yes, thank you very much. What kind do you have? I have Earl Grey, English breakfast, Irish breakfast, and Darjeeling. Those are all black teas. Do you have any green tea? I'm sorry, I don't really like green tea. How could you not like green tea? It's so much easier to drink than black tea. I just don't think green tea tastes as good as black tea. Green tea has a simple flavor, but black tea has many kinds of flavors. Well, I don't taste many flavors when I drink black tea. It just tastes bitter to me. Then you should drink more black tea, because after drinking it for a while, you begin to appreciate its flavor. Whatever its flavor, black tea can't be nearly as healthy as green tea. I read about a study last week that showed people who drink green tea are less likely to get serious diseases like cancer or heart disease. Well, history tells us that in the past, good black tea has been considered more valuable than gold. Wars have been started over it. Really? Which wars? The American Revolution. The American Revolution had nothing to do with tea. One of the things that started the Revolutionary War was an incident where a group of Americans dumped a British shipment of tea into the ocean in Boston. This was called the Boston Tea Party, and it had nothing to do with green tea. Unit 35 the injury. I've just returned from the doctor's office and he told me that because of my injury, I will have to miss the next two weeks of basketball. I'm really disappointed. Last night, I hurt my ankle during a very exciting game against West High School. It was five minutes before the end of the game. The score was 60 to 60. I had the ball and I heard my coach shouting at me to shoot. So I started to jump, but suddenly I found myself lying flat on my back on the court. A West High player had accidentally knocked me down. I tried to stand up, but my ankle hurt so much that I was unable to walk. Two of my teammates had to help me leave the court. My ankle started to swell up so the team doctor brought me a bag of ice to put on it. The ice was cold, but it felt good on my ankle. When the swelling on my ankle reduced a little, my coach asked the doctor if he thought I would be able to play anymore. But the doctor replied that I would have to sit out the rest of the game and come to see him the next day. Not only did I receive an injury, but we also lost the game by a score of 68 to 66. What a disappointing night! Travel and Transport Unit 36, Moving Hey, Sheena, I haven't seen you for ages. What's new? Where are you going with all those suitcases? Hi, Mark. It's been a while since the last time we ran into each other. I'm bringing these suitcases home to pack because my family is preparing to move across the bay to Port Anderson. Really? How are you going to transport all your furniture? 
I'm not sure. I considered hiring a moving van, but someone told me it might be more convenient to rent a huge container and ship everything across. The details are a bit complicated because we've got so many boxes. Well, when my sister and brother-in-law moved to Dallas last year, they sent all their furniture and heavy items by cargo flight. They hauled it there on a massive cargo plane, then rented a truck and picked it up at the airport after they arrived. That's interesting, but the problem is that we have so much junk, we might need two cargo planes. Well, however you get it there, it sounds like you'll need help once you get it to the other side. I've got a friend there who owns a self-serve truck company. He can rent you a truck at a discount rate. Which day are you moving? Next Saturday. I'm free that day, so I'll help you out. I've still got my small truck, so I can haul some stuff for you, too. Thanks, Mark. That would be great. Unit 37. Wear your seatbelt. Some people think that the government should require passengers by law to wear seatbelts in cars and taxis. They say that seatbelts save lives and money. Statistics show that 60% of people killed in car accidents were not wearing seatbelts. Statistics also show that most people who wear seatbelts survive. In the past 30 years, Seatbelts have saved almost $600 billion in medical costs. The average car accident costs $820 for each person in the United States. Some states require people to wear seatbelts. In those states, about 80% of the passengers follow the law. However, other people think it's wrong to require seatbelt use by law. They say that passengers should decide for themselves. Many of these people agree that seatbelts save lives, but they don't think the government has the right to force people to wear them. They point out that smoking cigarettes is also unhealthy. But the government lets adults smoke if they want to. Leaders cannot force people to do what's good, they argue. It's better to educate people so they will want to wear seatbelts. Those who want seatbelt laws say that the right to public safety is more important than the individual's right to free choice. But their opponents say people must be careful to protect their individual rights. They should decide how to live their lives, not the government. What is your opinion on this? Unit 38. Going on vacation. Hey, Carl. I'm surprised to see you here. Jeremy told me that you were on vacation. Hi, Shelley. We were visiting some relatives in Sydney, but we returned last night. Oh, I've wanted to go to Australia ever since I was little. Tell me what it was like. It was fantastic. We fed kangaroos, walked through rainforests, and swam in the ocean. What was really great was when we took a train to Brisbane to see the Great Barrier Reef. I've heard that flights to Australia are pretty expensive. My dad knows someone who works for Qantas Airlines, so we were able to get a good deal. The tickets were only $800 per person for a round trip. Wow, that is a good deal. When we went on vacation to Bangkok last year, it cost $1,000 for a round-trip ticket, and Thailand's closer than Australia. What did you like best about Thailand? Well, the food was delicious, and riding elephants was exciting, but I'd have to say that the beach was the best part. The only unpleasant part of the trip was after we got home, when we found out that the airline had lost some of our luggage. My father's suitcase and my sister's backpack were missing. So, the airline lost two pieces of luggage? How long did it take you to get them back? Three days. 
But the good news is that when they finally found them, they delivered them right to our front door. Unit 39, Traveling by Airplane. Airplane travelers can choose between three kinds of tickets, first class, business class, and economy class. Most people buy economy class tickets. They are cheaper, so travelers can go to more places more often. Business class is more expensive, with good seats and good service. First class is very expensive, but offers very comfortable seats and excellent service. In economy class, the seats are small and close together. There is not much leg room. In first class, the seats are huge and wider apart. There is lots of room for passengers to stretch their legs. Economy class passengers usually must all watch the same movie. First class passengers have their own TVs and each person can watch different movies. Economy class passengers eat cheaper food. First class passengers are served delicious fresh food. It is difficult to sleep in economy class because of the small seats and all the noise. In first class, the large seats can be pushed back to make a comfortable bed. There is a curtain between sections so it is nice and quiet. Economy class is a good choice for short flights within the same country. Business class or first class is a good choice for business travelers taking an international flight across an ocean. These people often have to get off the plane and go right to work. For them, it is important to arrive fresh, rested, and ready for a full, exciting day. Unit 40, A Family Cruise Family Cruise Line is offering a new, exciting cruise that the whole family can enjoy. We have a special deal for families all year round on our Family Caribbean Cruise. The special one-week cruise leaves from Miami, Florida and stops at six fantastic Caribbean islands. There is so much for the entire family to see and do. On board, we have a variety of great food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We also have lots of interesting and fun activities. There are music and dance shows every evening. We have a movie theater and a KTV bar. For kids, we have shows each day with their favorite TV friends like Mickey Mouse, Goofy, and Elmo. Playing with television characters isn't the only activity children will enjoy. They can play volleyball, swim in one of our three huge pools, or take dancing and art classes. There's so much variety the kids can try a new activity each day. Mom and Dad can join them or rest in lounge chairs on our wide ship deck. On shore, you can shop, swim, and enjoy fresh food while you learn all about island life. With four to seven hours on shore each day, you'll have plenty of time to explore each island. Does this sound exciting? It is! So, when it's time to plan your next vacation, remember Family Cruise Line. It will be a trip your family will never forget.